Yo guys, what is up? Welcome to another video. Okay, it's a bit of a late introduction and we're probably already halfway through the video anyway, but I thought it's probably best to explain what, what's actually going on. Right, so I've been given a mobility scooter and they said it was just the batteries that were broken. So I tried changing the batteries and there's still some other stuff wrong with the electrics. So I thought that it would be a good time to make good use of these 400 watts off-road hoverboard wheels. Okay, so that was just running the Bobby Car firmware. So I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with it, but it works on a brake potentiometer and a throttle potentiometer. So when it starts up, you can control different different running modes, like there's, there's four speed modes. So you got obviously slow, medium, fast, and then super fast. Right, so we were just testing out the super fast one. Um, apparently that's supposed to enable field weakening and all that kind of stuff and should be good up to Somewhere around 29 kilometers an hour. Anyway, right, let's get back onto it. So we've got the mobility scooter and I'm gonna be putting the hoverboard wheels on the back of the mobility scooter, okay? So I'm hoping it's gonna be fast.
Okay, this is the moment of truth. So we tried using DACs, that didn't work. Um, the only thing with that being able to do is gear up the levers so that one, um, I think it probably is it's about 40 degrees there, maybe 35. So we got a four to one ratio, turning the whole potentiometer in one go. So there to there is a complete rotation of the potentiometer. Right, so I've reversed the polarity on the throttle and the reverse one is still the same. So hopefully I've got things the right way around. And when I turn on the hoverboard and start pressing these, it's just gonna work, okay? Right, I haven't tested it yet, so let's just jump in. Okay, power. Hoverboard power. We had two bleeps, which means we were on level two for the Bobby Car firmware. Okay, so if I press this one, the wheel should spin forwards. Okay, success. And reverse. Ah, look at that. Right, okay. Right, so now we're gonna try and put it in level four. So I need to hold both of these down at the same time, which I don't know how hard. Okay, right, I can do that. And then turn it on and it should do four bleeps and then I let go and then we should have the level four speed. Okay, so we had four beeps. Right, so this should be fast now. Right, I'm just gonna stick something on the wheel. Right, we want masking tape. Red tape. Okay, red tape. Red tape might do it. There we go. I don't know if that's even going to stay on or even if you're going to be able to see it. Right, so let's go. Okay, so it's going fairly quick. Right, so to activate the boost, full throttle, I think it's got to be at least 80% throttle. Which, that's pretty clear. Right, okay, so boost time. Okay, it's all good. Well, shit. Okay, right, the, the red tapes flew off. Right, this is good. I think we got, um, we got it working perfectly. And the brakes, cool. Excellent. Right, so after probably two days of pissing about, um, the first day we were just trying to fix the mobility scooter, trying to make it work with what I had. Um, decided that wasn't going to happen, so connected up some potentiometers up to this hoverboard. I got that working, that was all okay. I managed to reprogram the firmware, and I've even edited this firmware as well. So I'm going to put, I'm going to try and find somewhere I can stick it online. And then I'll put that in the description for anybody who wants it. Um, basically, the other firmware that's on the that's available on the internet, it's set up for a 12 cell battery, so it'll keep turning itself off, which it took me a little while to figure that out. So I couldn't find anything, I couldn't find any information regarding how to fix that problem. But yeah, um, basically what it is, it thinks that the battery is too flat, so it just keeps turning itself off. Um, right, so yeah, the, the DACs weren't working. Um, I think there was a problem with the I2C uh, connectivity and one of them kept going off or I had a... There, there was something up with the way I'd set up the, the address for it. Okay, so anyway, right, back to what we're doing now. Right, so we got this, we got that, that's all working, everything's fine. So... It's ready to get put back together.
was amazing.